So we have our first Packers injury report of the week. So I want to go through all of these injuries and what their status currently is, their practice status from today. If you guys are new to the channel, I put out Packers content every single day, news updates, all things like that. So if you want to stay up to date with all Packers news throughout the entire season, make sure you subscribe, turn on the post notifications so you never miss a single video. So about 15 minutes ago, it came out here from Jason Wild. And this is the Packers injury report. First off, we have did not participate. We have Al Lazard did not play today at practice with an ankle injury. This has been the injury we've been wondering about. What exactly is it? Today, Matt LaFleur did say that he was stepped on, and that is what's happened with Al Lazard. And apparently, it's his ankle, which is the issue. We don't know if he'll be ready come Sunday. Considering he didn't practice today, that's not a great sign. Maybe the Packers just want to hold him out a few more days to see if he's able to go you know, when Sunday comes around, and hopefully he will be able to go. If not, you know, we're going to need to rely on Sammy Watkins, Randall Cobb, Romeo Dobbs, Christian Watson. And speaking of Christian Watson, I'll get to that, that in a second. The full participants today, Crosby was good today, which is great to see. T. Penaliai, Jake Hansen, Dallin Levitt, Josh Nyman, and then Christian Watson was a full participant today in practice. So Watson, who got that knee surgery right when training camp was getting started right before them, Missed most of training camp, came back at the, the you know later half of training camp, played a little bit, didn't play at all in preseason, and now we will hopefully get to see him come Sunday. The fact that he's practicing today, it looks like a positive sign, and hopefully we'll see him um, versus the Vikings. Then limited players, we have Batiari limited with a knee injury, Elton Jenkins limited with a pectoral and knee injury, Darnell Savage limited with a hamstring injury, which he suffered almost a month or so ago on family night, and then Robert Tunyon with a knee injury as well. And we don't know if Batiari and Jenkins will be starting on Sunday versus the Vikings, considering we will be facing off against a very good Vikings defensive rush with former Packers, Adarius Smith, as well as Daniel Hunter on the other side. Hopefully, Batiari and Elton Jenkins will be ready to go. If not, it'll probably be Josh Nyman left tackle and then Roy Snewen over there right tackle. So I'll keep you guys up to date through the rest of the week. On Friday should be the Packers' final injury report, then Sunday you know, around 3 or 2.30, whenever it is, we'll see who's playing, who is not playing. And I'm curious to see if Darnell Savage will be ready to go on Sunday. I assume he will, considering he's only limited. You know, lots of times when these players are limited, they're able to go later in the week. The only thing is with Lazard, he did not practice, which is a little concerning. Hopefully he'll be fine, but that is the injury report for today. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you haven't followed me on Twitter, Luke underscore Bella on Twitter for more information over there. Um, that is all for this one, and I'll see you guys next time.